girlfriend, 26F, linking arms and walking with my, 25M, close friend. So, my girlfriend came to the pub to meet my mates for the first time the other night. Generally went great and was a lot of fun. We left to go get food. I said I'm just running to the corner shop to get some cigs whilst my girlfriend was with my other two friends. We'll call them John and Mike. As I left the corner shop, I saw my girlfriend and John linking arms with each other walking toward me. Mike was stood with them. As I came out she let go of John's arm and ran over to me. I have said to her I didn't like it because long story short my ex-girlfriend girlfriend cheated on me with my best friend. I found out and lost her and all of my old friendship group. So I have some weird issue with my girlfriends getting close like that to my close friends now. She said it was nothing. They linked arms crossing the road and just kept doing it not in a malicious way. He has a girlfriend. For some reason this has really bothered me would you be at all bothered by it or am I being insanely insecure? It sounds like seeing this triggered past trauma for you. It makes complete sense you would have adverse feelings to this. If it's a boundary for you, draw it and move forward from there. If you truly trust your girlfriend and her word, which you should unless she's given you any other reason not to, then you know this is an internal issue you have to work out with yourself. Not necessarily alone though. So your feelings are valid. It's okay if this bugs you. A conversation and communication would be important. The first time I met my husband's then boyfriend, best friend I wore the wrong pair of shoes to a bar. On the way home I ended up taking them off and walking barefoot. The bar was pretty far from home. But we didn't want to pay for a ride so we walked. Boyfriend didn't like that so started carrying me. But it was a long walk. Told him it was okay I would walk barefoot. His friend was like nah I'll carry you now. That was how we got home. Them switching off back and forth. It was hilarious. They turned it into like a competition tears of joy. I felt a little silly. But we'd all been drinking and it was fun. The point is. If they're truly your friends I'd hope you'd trust them. And if you and your girlfriend are solid I'd hope you trust her. My husband had also been cheated on by an ex and his old best friend. But he didn't let that define his relationships. And most definitely wasn't the jealous type because of it. Everything is contextual. We were not there. It does all seem pretty innocent to be honest. But it's obviously triggered you. Talk to you girlfriend. I'm sure everything will be fine. Let her know that given your history. You are uncomfortable with interactions like that. See what she does, says in response. This is internal. Communicate how you felt. But make sure she knows you're not accusing her and you're not going to make benign behavior a problem. If one of my friend's GFs did this to me the first time we met, I would be uncomfortable. You should tell her again how uncomfortable this makes you and tell her that it's not nothing, to You. If she agrees to respect your boundaries. Then that's great. If she belittles your feelings. Then you know how she's always gonna treat you. I feel like linking arms w somebody is more jolly. Than a intimate moment like holding hands or. Something skull. I've linked arms with female friends when going across roads many times. TBH I really can't see any issue with it. It sounds like you are projecting your past trauma into this relationship. That's not healthy. It's why therapy is always recommended before entering into a new relationship when something like this happened in a previous relationship. It sounds like it was innocent. You don't want to be the controlling partner who forbids their so from touching a member of the opposite sex to them. Talk to her about how it makes you feel. Then listen to her pov. There is a middle ground here. I still recommend therapy to help you deal with your trust issues. 
I can chime in a bit from your friend's perspective. An old EXGF of a good friend of mine was close with all the friend group. Platonically she never tried it on anyone other than my friend. Her BF. One night all the group and their SOs were bar hopping. After we left the first bar I was just walking a little ahead of the group. It was cold and I wanted to keep moving. And the EXGF came up to me and linked her arm with mine. We just chatted about Joker for a couple minutes. I got teased for being a flirt. And then we arrived at the next bar. We unlinked arms and the night went on. All this to say that if your friend has a GF then chances are this was also platonic on all sides. But ultimately you have had a bad experience with a cheating EXGF. As for advice I'd reiterate to your GF why this bothered you and how you would like to tackle future potentially similar interactions moving forward. Linking arms is better than holding hands. It's a polite way to assist someone. Am I being insanely insecure? Yes. Kind of. Look at it from your partner's perspective. Single ladies are at higher risk of harassment at night. Standing outside a shop or walking down the street. By looking like she's close to another guy. She's protecting herself from randos. I've been in line outside restaurants and such with friends' wives. And yeah they stand close. Because they know what happens if they appear unattached. That's insecure my guy. They are linking arms not touching each other's bowls. You have past traumas that you need to work through. Anything less is coping. This is their first time meeting. I wouldn't be comfortable with it either. I can only think of one situation where this might be exceptional. Was she wearing heels? Bad ground? Potholes? Then again when she say you. She let go and ran towards you gives me the impression that helping her walk and keep balance. Wasn't the case. Next time you're with little Johnny. Hold his girlfriend's arms too. She dropped his arm and ran to you. Nothing wrong with this. But I get it. You've got to face and overcome the insecurity or she will find a guy who isn't insecure. I'd suggest letting it go and processing your insecurities with a friend or counselor. Give yourself a break. It triggered you for obvious reasons. I had a best friend cheat with my GF a long time ago and it really sucks. It's a double W hammy betrayal and it leaves deep scars. So, work on this with your GF. It sounds like you told her why it set you off. You need to get to the point where you truly trust her. And that takes time. I don't think this is insensitive at all emo. I'd be a little cautious if this happened even without a past history. I wouldn't be bothered by it but I also haven't been cheated on with a best friend. That is deep deep betrayal and I can see why you are more sensitive to situations like this. Does she know about what happened? If not, I'd share it with her. If I'm dating a girl and she's around my boys, I'm not batting an eye at that. Thanks for getting her across the street bro. I trust them with my life. And with my partners. And would feel better knowing she's with one of them if I'm not around. Hopefully you can grow with your new friend group to have that kind of relationship again. Letting what happened to you in your post determine your present is how you destroy relationships. Your current GF has nothing to do with what happened in your past nothing. She let go of John's arm and ran over to me. Sounds like you were the one she was happy to see. On the one hand. Let it go. It's no big deal. She ran to you. Seriously. On the other hand. I'd be uncomfortable with my wife acting that way back when we were dating. So, I guess, it's okay to feel uneasy about it. It's just because you want to pay more attention in the future. Almost like a red flag. But not quite. Don't let feelings fool you though. Let it go. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears.
Please like, share, and subscribe.